and let's go live what's up everybody this is dtn delta tango mike coming at you one more time uh, one more time what's today wednesday yes <laughs> so today is the vector maestro's live stream and uh let me double check that we have the correct audio going on oh yeah that's good that's all right you're gonna hear some clicking because uh the microphone set up but uh i'm glad it's working everything is up let's jo let's jump right on in uh, today, I want to talk about something that's very important if you're working with vector art, and that is understanding how to adjust and edit your brushes in Adobe Fresco. Yes, so let's go ahead and read what I wrote. Oh, I didn't finish writing everything, and that's okay, because if you're watching this on Instagram, leave me a comment, question, or suggestion, and I will um, add the information to the body of the text uh, to the post I will add the body of the text to the post on Instagram later and if you're watching this on Facebook know that we have an Instagram um, page called vector maestros where I share everything that I'm talking about right now but I am gonna keep notes because I have three brush setting tips to share with you today so let's jump right on in this is not a talking a stream this is a doing stream we do it all right so let me uh jump into there we go T uh, tenok that's my character uh, one of my characters i got lots of characters that i've been working on and uh and so here we go we have um this uh, adobe fresco we got our artwork we got our layers right that's cool but let me go ahead and start a new layer and jump into this spot right here you'll notice that we have three brushes, uh, icons on the top left. We got the pixel brushes, and then we have light brushes, and then we have vector brushes. Well, it is the vector brushes that we're going to talk about today. And it's important that you understand your settings because you cannot import or create vector brushes in Fresco. You can create some vector brushes in Illustrator on the desktop because it's designed that way for you to use the, what is the paintbrush the paintbrush tool to then uh, change your stroke uh, brush to the way it looks on a drawing. But when you use the blob brush, that's all you have is a blob brush. So you can make a few tweaks in the blob brush on desktop, but there's not a lot that you can do. However, here on Fresco, we do have a few brushes and out of those few brushes and many, it's really a lot, like 13 outline brushes, three manga brushes, three jitter brushes, eight basic brushes, and that's a lot. Eight, to, eight plus three is 11, and three more is 14, plus 13, that's 27. 27 brushes, that's a lot of brushes. All right, so let's look at the manga brushes. Let's keep it simple. I'm gonna look at one brush. As a matter of fact, I know which brush we're gonna use, the basic. Let's go to basic, and look, right at the top, when you're looking at the basic, uh, brushes you have round and taper right along with a few other things But let me show you how the round and the taper is really the same brush It's about the adjustments that you make to them the three brush settings that we need to pay attention to So let's start with the round. There's the round right and let me pull this out so we can see our brushes There's the round brushes and we can also pull this out right here. Let's see. Oh, that doesn't matter Let's go ahead right there. Bam. Yeah, there it is. Ah, I almost had you. There we go. Come on there it is. So there's there's our settings that we want. Ah, yes. All right. So we got the round brush. And if you notice, let me go ahead and make the brush thicker. So you notice that the round brush is exactly what it sounds like. It has a round end on one side and a round end on the other. There you go. See that? It uh, responds to pressure and it starts and ends in a round. Okay. That's cool. That's nice. Uh, but you'll notice that I have turned off velocity dynamics. I turned off shape and outline. I turned off tilt and rotation. And so those are three or four things to keep in mind. So pressure dynamics. I need to write this down because I had to post this later. Velocity dynamics, shape and outline, and then tilt and rotation. Now, I never really felt any difference with tilt and rotation, but apparently uh, it's a thing. So let's take a look at the ones that I do use all the time. Number one, pressure and dynamics. You want to make sure that you have pressure because you want to be able to draw and uh, with, your, uh, uh, with uh, pressure sensitivity so you can get the thick and thin lines. 
if you turn this off, sometimes I do want to turn it off. And let me go ahead and move this over here. Ooh, I didn't know it did that. What? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> I never really docked my <clears throat> panels because I need all the room I can get. But right now, we're kind of going through this thing here. So let's take a look. Um, so if you don't, if you turn off the pressure, then you just have the same stroke size. And so when you want to change the size of the stroke, you change the size of the brush and then boom, you got different strokes sizes. That's good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that's what happens when you have, and I don't need this one, I need this one. That's what happens when you turn off the pressure dynamics. And so sometimes I do adjust the pressure dynamics because, this is why it's important to adjust your settings, because sometimes I don't want to go from very thin to very thick very thin to very thick like that is a very big range of line weight no 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 let me go ahead and clear this again so what you want to do is you want to adjust your pressure dynamics so that the level of change from one line thickness to the other is not as dramatic so now you can kind of draw smoothly and know that if I press really hard, here's how thick it's going to be. If I press lightly, this is how thick it's going to be. And so you need to find your happy medium for yourself. You need to find the medium and the size that works for you. Okay, that's good. So now I have the one I like, and I always keep it right around 50% or under. So that's my pressure dynamics. The next one is velocity dynamics. I turn this off because I don't like that and it's real it's like a real this is real, what happens in real life when you're drawing with a pencil or a pen and if you go too fast on the paper then you the 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 pencil or the pen the ink does not have enough um pressure and uh on the paper to leave uh, um a normal mark it kind of gets thin right it thins out and so this is what happens here Let me, let me try it. Oh, it just got really fat. So that's the dynamic. Let me go here. Okay, there you go. So that now it gets thinner when I go faster versus when I go slower. Oh, but it doesn't make a lot of change because I already turned down my, uh, my change, my pressure dynamics. So let me go back. As a matter of fact, let me just reset everything. Brush reset everything. And now... There goes, there goes, uh, there goes the dynamics. And so, what I want to do, let me uh, turn this up. This is slow and then fast. Slow, oh, that's uh, that's slow pressure. Let me go. Oh, look at that. Ah! And then fast. So, what I'd like to do, let's turn this up. There we go. Now we can see. That's fast. Oh, so this is now it's gone really crazy. Okay, let me turn off pressure what about pressure it's still it's still doing it you know i i have uh, adjusted my brushes so bad so bad now i can't even get what i wanted to show you with this velocity let me go this well there you go super thick oh my gosh so there it is you can see it right here in the beginning that if you go slow or if you go fast so it, it does change the way um, the thickness of the line so I like to turn this off so that no matter whether I'm going slow or fast I get the same line weight and then I need to fix my thing right there no matter what and uh, and it's really only dependent on the pressure that I have on uh, on the pencil and this is important if you like to draw fast I'm a fast drawer sometimes I like to sketch and uh, and do the uh, my lines and and sketches and stuff and so I don't have time to sit there and fix a line when I'm trying to go real fast and, and get the effect that I want out of my drawing. So this is one of the pr uh, pressure dynamics, one of the things, I mean, uh, velocity dynamics is one of the things that I turn off. Shape and outline, <clears throat> and I don't like these at all because, I don't like the jitter, because I practice a lot of time to get my lines to be perfect. Uh, I've been a working tattoo artist for over 20 years. You don't want the jitter on on your drawing, so I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. So that stays off. And then the outline, this is all. They also have another brush for this. 
not land brush but there you go it's in the setting so you can change it yourself if you want right so this is really cool i do like this one because then i can make uh like letters and stuff that's me this dtm the only thing is that if you pick up the pencil it will um not overlap but there's a there's a, a trick for that you see that go there then uh where's my touch modifier right there and then there we go there you go that's what i'm talking about oh yeah this is the letter d so the outline is a fun uh tool but there is a brush for that already if we go right here into the outlines and then you have a bunch of different outlines including the the pressure uh the point um tapered and the round okay back to our tool that we are on right now basic and round now look at the taper and see how that taper has the tapered ends well you can make an adjustment on the round and get that same effect it's really about what you're able to turn off and on so let's turn off the shape and outline so we're back to our round got it let me clear this out and if you notice uh there is a taper mode word right here let me see right there right there and so right before right after that it says uh begin taper and taper and you see now i just added the taper oh my god so i can't now that i have that in there i can change my pressure dynamics take it down so that the line weights do not shift dramatically for me there you go you see that? Wow. And and really, when you look at all these settings, these are the same settings that have been adjusted for this other brush right here. Manga and the uh, G Pen. These have those uh, um settings adjustments already done. So that way you have like a technically a different brush. Now let's go ahead and look in here. Come on. Come on. Boom. What I would like to see is a way to duplicate one of these brushes and then have that brush set one way dupl and duplicate a second version of the brush set a different way. Now, uh, Adobe, if you can handle that for me, that'd be nice. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's see where am I? I was in the basic round. Let me see, round, yep, right, basic round. And it still has the pointy edges, but of course it's supposed to be the round brush, so no pointy edges and I can just turn it off. And look, it's gone. This is crazy. Uh, the other part that I turn off is, um, where is it? The smoothing. All right, so let me close this so you can see it. I don't have the, I like to turn down the smoothing. So the smoothing came back because I reset the brush. But I turned off the smoothing, not because I don't want a smooth line. It's because I want to make the line the way I want it, and I want it to show up that way. All right, so see that? Now let's turn up the smoothing. And so it will try to, to fix your line. And I just saw it. I just saw it right now. It, it kind of has this little, like, like, like <laughs> an effect on the line. It has this effect like it's putting on the pants, like, <clears throat> like it's putting on some <laughs> tight pants. Like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. So let's clear it. So on the smoothing, I always turn it down. I don't want any smoothing. So that way I get the lines that I want out of my drawing. And bam, so those are the four settings. I, I put in three in here, but I'm gonna type in four. So we got pressure dynamics, velocity dynamics, sh uh, shape and outline. There we go. And then tilt and rotation. And I hardly ever use tilt and rotation. I don't even know what it is or what's it about. Let me clear that, there we go. I'm sorry, I wish I could. I mean, Oh, I guess, uh, let's see, this is tilt and rotation right here, angle. Oh, if we were to do like the angle. Roundness, there it is. And uh, and this is cool, okay, okay. Now, this would be all right uh, if we didn't have a brush already. Basic chisel, there's the chisel. You see, so uh, sometimes you don't really need uh, these uh, settings in some of these brushes because there's already a brush that does that includes some of those things in there. So let's turn that off. Let's go ahead and clear this out. Clear and bam. So now, oh yeah, I still have that right there, angle. 
roundness and angle. Just leave it, leave it, leave it 100. There we go. There we go. Or zero. Don't matter. There we go. That's it. Shh, 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 shh. Boom. So now I get the lines that I want. I can then keep uh, my artwork consistent all the way through. And, uh, and I can draw straight lines. I'm good at that. I'm already have enough practice that I can do it. And so I don't need extra help from some of these settings here. So you let me know when you're checking out Adobe Fresco for Vector Art, what you think about some of these brush settings. Which one is your most favorite brush? I will tell you my favorite, most favorite brush of all is the Manga. Once they brought in the Manga, that was it. And I think the mapping pen is better because of uh, you have more control over the line weights as you use pressure and it doesn't get wild and crazy out of the way when you put too much pressure um <clears throat> but that but that's the settings thing that i've already also adjusted so you let me know which one is your best brush which one's your most favorite thank you for joining us thank you everybody for joining us on instagram slp price Casson cart media carter media f Mel, and uh gorgeous george ha <laughs> cool name Hi, everybody, says the SLP Price. Thank you for joining me. Check out more live streams every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 10 a.m. And a special live stream tonight at 7 p.m. when I stream for Nothing Happens gaming session out there in the Nothing Happens uh, YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm DTM, Delta Tango Mike, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace out.